back with another tone study I'll, I'll take my palette out of the Ziploc bag gives it nice the paint nice and moist and we'll use burnt umber again these are a good fun to do they're quite challenging because you're making all your tones with one color rather than six or seven and the mixes so um, bearing that in mind we'll uh, think of what to do I've just done uh, some woods and rocky stream which I've done many times before uh, it's good practice especially if you want to paint out outdoors but you don't want to sit down with clouds of fly flies and, and children coming around saying what's that mister when you're doing a load of rubbish uh, you can do you can do these things very simply because you, you don't even require a, some watercolour paper a block you could use 90 pounds but heavier is better uh, just the hake or whatever brush you want and uh, a rigger and, and a palette with one colour and some water very simple so I'll wet the paper all over. I'm going to do a, one of my Rocky Gorges. See if we can do it in one colour. See what happens. I personally don't paint outdoors. I don't like it. I'd much rather sit here with my radio and my headphones on. Or the rear piece. And just generally be comfortable. But then each to his own. I mean... If you feel comfortable with painting outdoors, then have a go. Yes, I don't do it. I sketch. But this is a way of sketching with, with, with a colour. Uh, because it's transparent and it's water soluble, you can move it around a bit. Which you can't really do with uh, black waterproof ink or waterproof ink of any description. So I'll put in a bit of a... a bit of a... a colour in the sky bit of cloud okay that'll do well a bit more of just a bit of a the shadows of the cloud and it's a beautiful day today in London I'm going to light my barbecue in a couple of hours and uh, sit outside with your wife, do what has to be done in the mornings and then a little bit of a relax in the afternoons, enjoy the weather, enjoy the sun. Right, now you'll find that the, your paper does expand quite quickly using wet in wet. So let's, uh, I might even put a little bit of a building in, in this with a, with, a, with a small flat brush if I can find out what I've done with it. I've got my inch flat. Uh, can I ever find anything here? You can imagine the mess I'd get in outdoors. Um, it's here somewhere. It's got a yellow handle. I don't know why I can't see it. Anyway, um, I'm painting on. Uh, I'm painting on the floor. Okay, well, we'll use this one if it doesn't show up. Oh, I won't. Oh, I see, it's in my drawer. Right, okay. So, let's... Uh, now, bear in mind, you need to keep one side subordinate to the other. You don't want symmetry. You need to vary. I'll just give another re-clip. Jeez, it's really expanding now. Oops. If you've got a, a, a like a, an A4 block of watercolour paper with a stiff card back, you can use the clips to restretch your paper. Right, okay, let's get some bit of nice background. Okay, maybe we we'll just come over a little bit. Whoops. Bit, bit of harder stuff in there. And right, 
now we're going to do the gorge. We're going to put some uh, heavy. Come down here. Nice and dark for this foreground, for the, for the rocks. Now my brush is splitting because I, I'm not putting much water on. I want to get that colour straight out, almost out of the tube. Okay, that that will do. While that's nice and damp, we'll we'll. Uh, Try and be creative when you do your rocks. I'm overdoing this because I'm I'm rushing and I, I don't want to spend too much time doing these. It's a sketch after all, a, a design. But as you know, I've done this lots of times now, but not in one colour. So that's one side. Let's do the other side. But we'll keep that. Uh, we'll keep that steeper, I think. Remember, counter change light against dark. Leaving some, some white to show. Okay. I was asked how, how deep I, or hard I scrape, do I damage the surface? Well, yeah, you, you can't avoid, although what I'm in effect doing is just squeezing the paint out of the paper and moving it somewhere else. I'm just trying to create an impression that something's going on with a minimum of effort. So that, that will do for that. Um, now I want to put a bit of background to this here, but just a mid-tone. Okay, get that straight there. Right, that'll do. Now, to highlight those, the shapes of these steep slopes here, we can put some really nice dark, uh, trees. Just hanging on to the, uh, the slope here. Now, just some texture in here.
shadow. Just put a bit of dark uh, on the on the on the rocks here, just to give another sort of plane, give the three planes. Okay, so a real good dark in, in these areas here. So I'm going to scrape out some trunks and things. Right, okay. Um, I might put my little house on top of there, or on top of there, just that little bit of a slope there. Let's just give it a bit more of a, an edge. Yeah, put something there, I think. Okay. Now, do some say the same sort of trees, dry brushed here. Do for that. I'll just just open it up a little bit. Right, that's it. And some bushes, just to break up the monotony of of the flat areas, really. Now I'm going as dark as I right dare. I was just All right. Um, the little house flat brush, just uh, just hanging on to this side here. small now I'll put it up I'll change that I'll put that into a, another tree okay. bit of rigor work Just some woods sticking up here, some uh, reeds, and I'll do the water in a moment. Okay, so that that's that done. I'll fit about with the house going on with it. Let's, let's put a bit of shadow in there. Right, uh, dry brush now. Just putting this shadow 
or the reflection of the dark. Of the background showing in the water. Right, that's all I can do for that. I need to study that more really. Uh, now, um, figures to give a bit of scale. So I will have someone climbing up here. Does he show? Right, that's it. I'll sign that and we'll see what that looks like. I'm not going to do too many of these tone stages at this stage. It's just to give an idea of how you can sketch simply using one colour. That's the, the, the idea of these exercises. And you can do them, the doodles, and work out designs. The things you would like to paint. Look, these rocks. These just about show, don't they? Not rocks, but oops. That's supposed to be a hill, but we lost it a little bit there. Right, no more detail than that. Let's uh, put the sinner in the uh, ivory mount. So there we are, we've got another tone study, which is quite pleasing to look at. I think mainly because it's one colour, just how much you can get, the variety you can show with all this. So, that's probably just a little bit too dark there. It competes with the foreground, it should be a bit less, but I went over the house there. So, have a go at these sort of things, work out your designs, have fun with it. Don't uh, punish yourself because it's not as easy as it looks. I didn't find it easy once, so why should you? You've got to practice. There are no shortcuts. You just, well, it could be a Lake District, couldn't it? You just have to put the time in. But there'll always be people better than you, however good you think you are. And a lot of people better than me. I hope you enjoyed this. That's, uh, I won't answer that. There. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.